So let's get into some sorting algorithms. Uh, I'm going to be showcasing around six in this series, and the first one is going to be bubble sort. And um, what is a bubble sort? Well, as you can tell from the title, it's a type of sorting algorithm where you would sort a sequence of numbers. So let's get our numbers right here. Let's say one, uh, three, five, two, and six, right? So how this works is we're going to start all the way over to the right, and then we're going to compare these two numbers, the first, the first two numbers on the right, or the last two numbers on the right, I guess. And if the one on the right is lower than the one on the left, then we switch the two numbers, right? And in this case, two is less than six, so that won't be the case. So let's go over to the next, right? Ah, no. So we have two and five. Is two less than five? Of course. So we're going to be switching those numbers. So two becomes five and five becomes two, right? And those would switch over and then we would go over to the next. Then we would switch, or then we would compare two and three and then it will repeat the whole process and keep going until it gets to the end. Now let's actually uh, do the whole process and we're gonna do it like, you know, with an actual array. So I'm going to be erasing this and then I'm gonna be making an array. Let's get our blue color here. And no, we're not gonna be doing this with the eraser. So, let's do two, five, three, seven, one. Let's not make this too long. I don't want to make this video too long because I got to reiterate over the whole process and I'll show you how that's going to happen. So, of course, we're going to start from the right. The first two numbers, so one and seven. Is one less than seven? Yes. So, we're going to cross that. One becomes seven. 7 becomes 1. Then we're going to go down, making a new make a new array. So 2, 5, 3, 1, and 7. Right? So now we're going to go over 1, and then we're going to compare 1 and 3. Right? Is 1 less than 3? Yes. So 1 becomes 3, 3 becomes 1. Now let's make a new array. Two, five, one, three, and seven. And now we're going to compare one. Whoops, let me get my red. We're going to compare one and five. Is one less than five? Yes. So we're going to cross that one. One becomes five. Five becomes one. And then we're going to make a new array again. <laughs> Two, one, five, three, seven. And then we're going to compare one and two. Is one less than two? Yes. So we're going to come up, we're going to slash out one and then slash out two. And by the way, uh, the algorithm is not going to create a new array every time we compare two numbers. I'm just doing this because I don't want to have to keep erasing and then remaking numbers and erasing and remaking numbers. This is a lot more efficient um, for me. So we've gotten to the end of our... Um, so we've gotten through one iteration, and I'm going to output the, uh, the final numbers for that one iteration right here. So that, that would be... Oh, I messed that up. That's supposed to be one. That's supposed to be two. So let's, let me put that down here. One two, five, three, and seven, right? So that's that's the first iteration. And as you can see, the numbers aren't sorted. They aren't, they aren't completely sorted. One and two is sorted, but not the rest. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna erase all this and do it over again. Uh, by, by now, you should already know how the algorithm works, but I'm gonna keep going because that's how the algorithm works. It's going to keep reiterating until all the numbers are sorted. So we're gonna be erasing all of this, except for the bottom one, because I need to copy that, and then I'm gonna erase that. So we're gonna say one, two, five, three, and seven. And then let's erase the one down there. Okay. 
So let's get our red, 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 red. Now we're going to go back to the right, as I said, and we're going to compare the, the last two numbers, 3 and 7. Is 7 less than 3? No. So we're going to go over to... We're going to go over to the next. So 1, 2, 5, 3, 7. Get our brackets. And then we're going to compare 5 and 3 after I get my red. Come on. So we're going to compare 3 and 5. Is 3 less than 5? Yes. So we're going to compare 3. I mean, we're going to cross out 3, turn that to 5. And then 5 becomes 3. They both get swaps, as I said before. And then we're going to create a new set. So 1, 2, 3, 5, and 7. At this point, all of the numbers are sorted, so the algorithm is going to stop. Well, of course, the algorithm is going to keep going until it gets to the end. And if all the numbers are sorted, it's going to stop. And this would be our final output. So that's pretty much it for this video, and I'll see you in the next. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you saw, consider subscribing. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, I'll have it in the link below. Thanks.